Yeah, I think it's time. Good. Time to do a process. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is come to the front of your chair, wherever you're sitting. If you could move yourself forward so that you're away from the back of the chair, if it has a back or away from the arms of the chair, if you have arms on your chair. And in this way, we can just let our feet come flat onto the ground and feel how you're able to find your upright spine in sitting. And of course, if this is not available to you without discomfort, you will move yourself back to where it does feel more comfortable, where you can stay really attentive to yourself and how easy you can explore these uh, invitations for movement, okay? So I'd like you to uh, come back to that long neck and long low back feeling that we explored with Cynthia earlier. You might even take your hands back into those two places and feel for yourself, okay, yeah. I have these curves and these curves can lengthen by spreading our fingers and sensing some uprightness. How gentle can that be where we still get curious about a little bit more space that can be found in our spine? And swipe your top hand up and your bottom hand down and easily come back to where your arms are resting on your lap. And then I'd like you to turn your head in one direction. So you just rotate your chin over that shoulder easefully and come back to where you're looking straight forward into your distance. Now, think to yourself, which way did I go there? I want you to repeat the same direction again. So look over the same shoulder and come back to center. And though you're not exerting any you know, overly anything forceful here, I want you to notice how easy it is for you to do this. Yeah, is there any little bit of a hiccup or a little catch or maybe a bit of um, tension that you might feel? Or maybe it just feels good and it's easy. So my question to you is, hmm, I wonder how the other side feels, right? In relationship to that side. Okay, so we're gonna look over the other shoulder now. Such a simple movement. Good. We're listening for how easy that is. Good. So now we have something to compare to. My question to you is, is one of these sides worth putting a, a bit more attention to to find some improvement, right? Which one is easier and which one would you like to give yourself a little improvement on? Now I can feel that one side yeah, one side could use a little improving and the other side feels a little easier. So we're going to work with the side that feels like it needs improving. Sound good? And if you're still confused with which side that would be, they both feel quite the same, then you can choose one side. Okay. All of us choosing one side. Now, please come to the towel that I've, we've asked for you to have. And I'm going to remind you how we want this towel rolled. Okay. So if I had a, a open bath towel, and then I'm just going to take somewhere in the middle of my bath towel and start to roll it, not tight, just simple. And I'm going to roll it lengthwise, very easily, not tight again, until it creates a big, long roll. See how the ends of my towel just followed? Good. You might have already prepped that, so that's good. And this is going to come behind your neck. Okay. So we've rolled our towel lengthwise, not short, lengthwise, and it's now behind your neck. Now, do you remember which side you wanted to improve when you turned your head? Okay, that arm I'd like you to bring straight forward in front of you. And take that arm and turn the palm towards the center of yourself. So your thumb is up towards the ceiling. Good. And then you're gonna rotate that thumb down towards the floor and bring that thumb back up towards the ceiling again. So again, my palm is facing towards the center of myself. And as I rotate my thumb down, my palm will turn towards the outside, like this, the space away from me. Now go back to where your thumb is pointing towards the ceiling. And as you rotate this arm again, see if you can allow for that rotation to go up your arm to your shoulder, where your shoulder will lift towards the towel and the towel towards your face. Good. 
and then bring that back to where it came from. Now we could just lift our shoulder, couldn't we? We could just raise the shoulder and draw it down. But I'm asking you to use the rotation of the arm to help lift your shoulder. So let's try that one more time. Rotate that arm so that the shoulder lifts up. And now we feel a connection from the shoulder to the towel to my face. So there's something about this connection that's gonna be really, really important. And then bring it all the way back. You can rest that arm, take a moment. Remind yourself if that started to feel like a lot of work that we want to use only 20%. So here's something important about how we're going to proceed together is when you feel like you want to break, when you feel like there's too much work going on, you can rest whenever you want and come back whenever you want. You can just imagine the movement if it's not pleasing you. All right. So you really listen to yourself first. So we're gonna take the side that we want to improve. Remember the head turn, that side, that arm is gonna reach forward like we have been doing. And we're gonna take it on top of this other arm. So both my arms are in front of me and the side I want to improve is on top. I'm gonna to turn my palms to face each other. Good. And then weave the fingers as you can see my fingers weaving. I have not clasped my hands, however, I'm still gonna reach my fingers long. And then I'm going to twist my arms so that that shoulder of the side I want to improve lifts up towards the towel, which in turn touches my face. Bring yourself back away from that twisting and see if we can try that a few more times. So rotate those arms so that the side that you want to improve is turning towards the bottom arm and that shoulder draws towards your cheek. Good, and then bring it back down. Let's try one more time. We're gonna rotate so that the side that we want to improve is on top and turning towards the bottom arm and that shoulder lifts towards the towel and my face. Good, and bring yourself back down and pause. Now, all of this can be done without this towel. So if you're finding it a bit obstructive, you can simply release it and continue without it. What's important is that that shoulder touches your face, somewhere up around your face, it lifts, okay? If anything feels like too much work, we rest and see if you can continue with ease, with a little less effort. Okay, I'm gonna try one more time in this way and then we're gonna move on. So bring your arms straight forward. The side you want to improve, same side, goes over top of the bottom arm. Those hands touch each other, the fingers interlace. We're going to twist towards the bottom arm, the shoulder raises. And now I'd like you to draw circles in front of you. That shoulder that has lifted stays lifted as we draw circles. Notice which way you're drawing your circle. And now go the opposite direction. That's moving, not just your arms, right? But your whole upper body is moving in some way. Good. And then let that come to the center and let it go, let it go. Excellent, take a moment to rest. I think Cynthia is going to, I'm going to add her to the spotlight. There we are, hi. Okay, so come up to standing if you can. Now, of course you can do this process sitting and you'll see that Cynthia will be doing it sitting. So if you would like to continue, watch her, and she'll be showing us what that looks like in a chair. Okay, I'm gonna keep my towel around my neck for those of us who like that bit of padding. And again, you can remove it when wanting, okay? Bring your feet just to a nice, comfortable standing position. And as always, we're looking out to the distance so that we can keep our head more or less over the rest of ourselves. We're still working with that same side that we want to improve. And we're gonna bring the arms forward in front of ourselves and take the side we'd like to improve on top. Take the palms to touch one another with those fingers interlacing and reaching long. Bring the arms down of, over top of your belly so that the crossed four, the upper arm does uh, come across your chest. We're gonna to begin to rotate those arms, twisting them towards the bottom arm while looking out to the distance. Good. 
We're gonna fix those arms against your chest and belly. And if you're standing, you can feel it against your pelvis. And then begin to draw circles with that whole fixed shape. Good. So not just my arms making circles, my pelvis, good. And we've done such a twist that that shoulder is lifting as well, right? On that top arm. Wonderful. Then reverse the circle, nice and slow. Again, how easy can we make this? How soft? Good. Come back to the center. Stay there for a second. Find that twist again if you've lost it. And let's bounce on heels while looking out to the distance. Pum, 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 pum. Bum, 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 bum. One more, bum, bum. And release that shape, letting your arms hang easy. Now, as we pause and rest and take your towel off, if you're wearing it around your neck, let's let it drape behind us. Toss it away. And without anything around your neck, you begin to sense yourself in space. Maybe you notice something new, like where your breath is filling into your lungs, perhaps around your collar or upper chest. Maybe your arms feel heavier, more dangling, easy by your side. Maybe there's something in the soles of your feet, the way the weight comes into the feet that's changed. All right, so if you're working with your towel still, let's lean down easily, clasp that towel and bring it back around your neck. We're still gonna work with that same side on top, right? So we're bringing the arms forward, take the side we wanna improve on top, crossing the forearms, turn the palms to face each other. And now bring those arms up, 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 up beside your face. Good, now what's important here is that we feel some contact of your arms to your face. I've moved back a little so that you can see. Good, this towel is helping that contact happen, but we really do wanna fix the length of the neck. Remember the twisting, return towards the bottom arm, good. And then we're gonna keep the contact to the face, even if it's on 45 degrees, and begin to make circles with that whole upper portion of our body. Reaching up with those fingers gently while rooting down through the feet or the sit bones on the chair, bringing your gaze as much as you're able out to the distance in front of you. Breathing easy, reverse the direction of the circle. Very good, come back to the center, pause. See if we can get more length by lengthening up. Little bit of that twist and let's bounce on heels. Bum, 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 one more, bum, bum. And then drawing the hands across the front of yourself down through the middle. Bring them all the way back to your side. Pause here. Take the towel in the front of yourself and toss it behind if you're standing or to the side if you're sitting. Good. And take a moment again to feel yourself. Maybe there's some upgrade in this vertical spine of ours, an ease in which we feel the top of the head rising the bottom of your seat grounding, the softness across the shoulders. Maybe it comes with your breath that's now more underneath the arms than it was before. Now let's see if anything's changed. This is the moment we've been waiting for, I think. All right, so you remember the way you wanted to turn, you felt like you wanted to improve that. Let's do that now. Turn your chin over that shoulder. Slowly, softly, easier, and come back to center. Notice if there's any change. Has there been a change in the way that your head will turn? 
It's always nice to try a few times just to confirm it. But what's also nice is to feel the difference between the two sides, right? So let's go ahead and turn the way that you felt was better before. Maybe that has changed as well. Which side needs improving now, right? There might be something there. <laughs> Good. And sometimes they both feel wonderful. And sometimes the side that we didn't improve now would like a little of that uh, improvement. But let's take this for a walk, if you can. If you're happy sitting, you can enjoy resting. And as you move through your space, let your arms just hang down by your sides and move as they will. Walking around, forward, backward, down a hallway. Hmm. Yes, very good, very good. And when you come on back, making your way back, take a moment to put down in the chat just a, a few thoughts or maybe something that came up or um, a feeling that you're left with now, a word for hmm, something that you learned while you were moving through this process. Yeah, taking a moment. Good, they're starting to come in now. Reading some of these, bouncing better, feeling a nice sense of weight of my head, balanced, a tightness across the bra strap area. So for the um, mid back area, that might be one of those areas we were talking about that is a little sticky, you know? There's lots of ways that Bones for Life processes address these stickier parts in ourselves. But first, we must become aware of them, I think. And so good for you, wonderful awareness brought to that stickier zone in your back. Something from Joan here feels lovely, feeling balanced and lighter so far. How's that? Nice. Really nice. Good. Uh, remarkable how small, low effort movements can affect so much change. This is a really key feature in this process and in all the ones that we're doing together is that these like minor or smaller adjustments can be longer lasting perhaps or, or more available to us. Maybe that's a better way to put it. More available to us in moments of our life, like standing in the grocery store line or waiting for a train to arrive. Yeah, sensing our neck growing or our low back lengthening, softer knees. Wonderful, thank you. All of these comments coming in. 